For good reason, Tesla's automotive business dominates media coverage. However, Tesla has been quietly stepping up the production of its mega packs, which the company claims can produce 40 gigawatt hours of mega packs annually. Furthermore, these mega packs, in my opinion, are currently more profitable than Tesla's automobile division. And as a result, Tesla's energy division might start contributing significantly to the business's yearly profit. Tesla's energy division hasn't contributed significantly to the company's profitability in recent years, and this energy company's profit margin was negative as recently as 2020, while 2021 was a reasonably profitable year through the first three quarters of 2022. Tesla's energy business had a profit margin of just under 5%. However, it seems as though Tesla's mega pack business is about to drastically alter that. The majority of Tesla's profit currently comes from its automotive business, according to its financial statements. They also have the best automotive margins in the business. For instance, Tesla reported a 27.9% gap in automotive gross margin for the third quarter of 2022 in their investor letter. These profit margins are unheard of in the automotive industry, of course, and Tesla has been able to achieve incredible margins. However, given that Tesla has recently reduced prices pretty significantly in a few important markets, these numbers for Tesla are probably going to decline in subsequent quarters as we move through 2023. Although I haven't noticed Tesla lowering prices in the US or Europe, Tesla may do so in the future. However, even with the price reductions Tesla has already implemented, this should cause a slight decline in their automotive gross profit. Although Tesla does have some pricing flexibility, I'm not particularly concerned about price reductions because of this. Additionally, Tesla is reducing manufacturing costs and increasing efficiency. That means it's not a big deal at all. However, what's intriguing in my opinion is that their energy division might start picking up some of that slack, which would enable them to keep their total operating margin roughly the same as it is at the moment. Even if the economy weakens and car sales do moderately slow down, I think there will be a healthy demand for their mega pack business for many years to come. So, this might assist in balancing out some of their business, even if the auto market slightly slows down when it comes to the potential future of Tesla's energy division. Elon Musk recently stated this regarding growth during Tesla's Q3 2022 investor conference call. For instance, since 2017, the stationary storage sector of the energy storage industry has grown at a rate of 150% to 200% annually, significantly faster than the automotive sector. Tesla's storage business has been steadily expanding, as you can see here, but recently it hasn't come close to that. Of course, that 150% to 200% range is a stretch. But I think Tesla will achieve that in the not too distant future. Recalling the Tesla Q3 2022 investor update letter from earlier, it was stated that the company's energy storage deployments increased by 62% year over year to 2.1 gigawatt hours in Q3. I think that a significant portion of this expansion is attributable to the fact that they now have a factory specifically for producing mega packs which is producing quite a few of them and will eventually be able to produce up to 40 gigawatt hours of mega packs annually. In 2021, Tesla deployed slightly less than 4 gigawatt hours of storage, which is one example of growth and one of the fundamental projections of what Tesla's energy division might look like in the future. Tesla's Q4 2022 deployments have not yet been reported, but when they do, I anticipate they will be close to 6 gigawatt hours. This chart appears to show a 50% growth increase in the section that is kind of yellowy brown, though it may be a little more than my estimate here. Even though I think Tesla could expand a little bit more than this in 2023, let's just say there was a 50% growth from 2022 to 2023. In that case, the deployments of Tesla in 2023 would be close to 9 gigawatt hours. And if Tesla can expand its business at a rate of 150% annual growth between 2023 and 2024 and later, by 2029, it might have been installed more than the 2 terawatt hours of storage. 
currently Tesla's mega pack business has yet to achieve good margins, as recently as its Q1 2021 investors conference call. However, the company could see these kinds of profit margins with its volume of deployments. Elon Musk did, however, mention, quote, that we have a clear runway for improving the cost per megawatt hour of the mega pack during that Q1 2021 call. According to recent information, it now seems that Tesla has successfully maintained very healthy margins in their mega pack business. And one of the main reasons for that, in my opinion, is that the mega pack probably now contains lithium iron phosphate batteries. I think that's part of it. But there's also the fact that Tesla now exclusively produces mega packs at its Lothrop, California facility. When Tesla can build many of these at once and achieve greater scale thanks to a dedicated factory like that, they begin to experience economies of scale. This aids in reducing the cost of deploying these mega packs per kilowatt hour or megawatt hour. Sandy Monroe of Monroe Associates recently posted a live stream and Q&A at the recent CES event on the Monroe Live YouTube channel about what these margins for Tesla's mega pack business might be. When asked if mega pack margins could be at 60%, Sandy responded, I'll bet you $45. It's pretty difficult to hit 60%, but I'll try. Since we already know the car margins, which are higher than everyone on Twitter, I would without a doubt say 45. Mono referred to this in Zero Sum Game 33. Lars Leisdahl, a very reliable source, responded to this by saying, quote, I heard from another source, independent of all your great research, who used to work at Tesla Energy, who said that the current mega pack margins are 45%. Therefore, a 45% margin is astounding for a product like this, especially a mega pack, which has a high price point and high demand. The price of the mega pack is currently not listed on Tesla's website. I did find an electric article from September 2022, though. According to this electric article from the time, the cost per kilowatt hour for a single mega pack was $622. The price per kilowatt hour dropped to $500 at that point, they noted, if you switch to a 10 megawatt project, therefore, it appears that Tesla reduces the cost per kilowatt hour slightly as you purchase a larger system. That makes a lot of sense too. The cost to manufacture Tesla's mega pack, which includes the inverter, is currently around $250 per kilowatt hour. If Tesla is making a 45% gross margin on that, that would put the customer price at somewhere around $454 per kilowatt hour. And based on the fact that the price probably changes a little, I assume that's for perhaps a slightly larger installation. However, in this instance, if the cost is $250 and the customer pays $454, Tesla would make a gross profit of more than $200 per kilowatt hour. Therefore, I thought it would be interesting to look back at some of Tesla's recent installations and consider the scale of those projects if the company is indeed making over $200 per kilowatt hour of profit on each of these mega packs that they install. I think Tesla is currently making this profit margin even though I don't think they ever made that much money on those installations. Previously, however, not as much because they were still working to ramp up the product and come up with a solution, increasing the profit margins to a healthy level. But now that they've arrived at that stage, here are some examples of the kind of profit margin that these projects could achieve if they were to produce similar sized products. For instance, a 100 megawatt hour project in Belgium could bring in over $20 million for them. A 365 megawatt hour project in Nevada could bring in over $74 million in profit if that were done at a 45% profit margin. In Alaska, a 93 megawatt hour project could bring in close to $19 million for them. For instance, a 200 megawatt hour project like the one in Texas could bring in more than $40 million for them. Additionally, they could make over $81 million from a 400 megawatt hour project similar to the one they completed in Oxnard, California. Now, before we go any further, give a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, watch until the end for a tidbit on Tesla's LFP business. 
Another thing I want to draw your attention to is that this chart has a section for annual maintenance. Tesla makes money from the sale of the Mega Pack in addition to a yearly maintenance fee that is added on top of that. For instance, if you visit Tesla's website and order 100 Mega Packs, you'll see that Tesla will charge a maintenance fee that is expected to be at least $485,000 per year. Additionally, it is mentioned here that the price increased by 2% annually. I don't know if Tesla is making a profit off of this service business or if that just covers the cost. But I assume Tesla is making money off of that. Therefore, after selling a mega pack to a company, Tesla may earn residual income every year. Let's now look at the bigger picture and revisit some of the projections I made for Tesla's energy storage deployments, moving beyond just some of those specific project examples and what that might entail. Tesla's other energy storage businesses besides mega packs as evidenced by the fact that they also make power walls, for example, for residential use. But if, for example, 70% of their future gigawatt-hour storage deployments are mega packs and Tesla continues to make about $204 per kilowatt-hour profit, you can see that by the end of this decade, Tesla's mega pack business could be making hundreds of billions of dollars in profit annually if it can maintain this kind of growth and a good, healthy profit margin. And the best part is that the mega pack is only a small portion of their overall business. Naturally, they have their power walls. They have solar, including a solar roof and solar panels, and auto beater technology. And I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do with the fact that they became an energy utility in Texas. However, there are currently a lot of exciting developments in Tesla's energy division. And as I've already demonstrated with this example of the mega pack business, I think that the industry is about to experience significant growth. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below about everything I've said. Do you believe that Tesla's energy division will contribute significantly to the company's profits shortly? I'd be interested in hearing your opinions. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Fred. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. Now, did you know that Tesla Energy is also profitable and can soar up to 5 times this year 2023? Well, if you want to know more, click and watch the next video here to know more.